What's up guys, if you're watching this and you have heard of lucid dreaming, you've heard of the art of controlling your dreams uh, in any way, stop what you're doing, apart from watching this video of course, and just, just listen to what I'm going to say for just a couple of minutes. So if you find that you can't do it, right? if you're finding it difficult, if you're struggling, if you can't make the techniques work, you can't get the reality checks to show up in your dreams, you just can't seem to break through and you just feel like giving up. There are some very obvious and simple reasons why this is, okay? So I'm just going to go through a few of them, and then hopefully at the end you'll know what you need to be doing in order to actually have a lucid dream if you haven't already. So there's normally some very simple things that hold people back, and these are things that loads of people email me about. You know, I get loads of comments. I always hear when I talk to, speak to my friends that have tried it, they're always doing these same simple mistakes. So the first one is your reality checks. Now, when you do a reality check, you need to make sure that whatever the action is, let's say if you're doing the finger palm push, where you try and push your finger through your palm, you need to really expect your finger to go through your hand. If you don't, it won't happen in the dream. And so the whole point of, of doing a reality check is that you get a different result in a dream than you do when you're awake. So obviously now I'm awake, if I try and push my finger through my palm, it won't go through, and I'll always feel that same resistance Whereas in a dream, if I really expect it to go through, it will. And then that is what will make you lucid. So make sure that when you're doing your reality checks, you're really expecting the thing to happen. So say if it's the finger palm push, you expect your finger to go through. If it's the um, pinching your nose um, reality check, you really expect to be able to breathe. Okay. If you don't, then you won't be able to do it. And you're just not going to have a lucid dream. You're not going to get... The reality check to work okay so and another thing with that is to take a bit more time when you're doing them so say if you would normally take 20 seconds take about a minute or so just to really like cement the idea in your mind and make sure that you're not dreaming or you are dreaming whichever the case may be number two when you write your dreams down in the morning make sure that you always highlight the important bits so say if you've dreamed you've dreamt about uh, a skyscraper falling over Make sure you highlight skyscraper, um, and then if it bursts into flames, for example, highlight flames. If you saw your mate Jim uh, and he came into the dream, highlight Jim. These are all important things which could be dream symbols or dream signs, which means that in the future when you dream about the same things again, you're more likely to recognise that you're dreaming because you've, you've highlighted them before. So I hope this makes sense. Another thing is when you um, do wake up in the morning, make sure that you write your dreams down as soon as you wake up. No delay, because if you wait even just a few minutes, you'll find that all of the thoughts of the day, everything you have planned to do that day, uh, it's all going to come flooding into your mind and you're just going to forget. You're going to forget what you dreamed about and you're not going to be able to write it down. If you don't write it down, then there's less of a chance that you'll become lucid in the future. Number three, getting confused with different techniques. This is a really common problem and this is probably why you can't lucid dream, uh, is if you're reading up about all these different techniques, okay, and I, I'm part of the problem here, I've got dozens of articles on my site about different techniques you can try, methods, you know, all these different things you can try. The truth is when you're first starting out, you should just focus on one. You know, if you try and learn them all at the same time, you're going to learn none of them. Uh, someone, uh, there was a famous saying, if you try to catch two rabbits, you catch none of them. Because when you chase one and the other, they're both going to escape. You know, you have to, at the start at least, focus on one thing. Uh, so, for example, the wild uh, waking juice lucid dream or the wake back to bed. Um, it doesn't really matter. Any technique, pick one and then focus on that for the first month. Focus on that for the first two months if you have to until you make it work. If you try and do a different one each day, then they're not going to work. You're going to just struggle and you're going to be really frustrated and you're going to be one of... Uh, one of those people who comments on my videos saying, I've tried everything, blah, 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 doesn't work. It does work, you just need to be a bit more patient and be a bit more strategic with how you practice. Okay, so just pick one technique, try it, and then if it doesn't work, it's a, so there's some confusion here, I should explain. When you're first starting out, you should pick one technique and focus on that until it works. If it doesn't work, move on to a different technique and focus on that until it works. If you've gone six months or a year or even more 
trying out various techniques and none of them have worked, and this is very unlikely, bear in mind, um, then you need to vary it and try one new technique every week. So you're varying it and rotating it around. Not when you're a beginner, though. When you're a beginner, you need to focus on just one. So I hope this has cleared things up for you guys. Um, and don't go yet. i just got a couple of more things to say to you. When you have finished watching one of my videos, if you could leave a very quick comment with a question, um, I'm going to try and get through them all by doing more than one video a day. And to make this a bit easier for you guys, when you look through the comments of the video, before you comment, if you see someone that's already asked your question, give the comment a thumbs up. And the one with the most thumbs up, when I come to look at them again, I'll try and make a video to answer that question. So hopefully this will mean I can answer the questions that matter to you guys and not just, you know, uh, the next on the list sort of thing. So if you see a question that you want answered, give it a thumbs up and I'll try and answer it. If you haven't subscribed already, please click the subscribe button just here. It'll take two seconds. And if you do, I'll be very happy and I'll make more videos.